Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. When we left off, we had escaped from Antarctica and touched down back in Cairo. So, let's get started. Cairo is all that's left between us and the last level, Liberty Island. Let's move. We've already been to Cairo, so I know my way around, but if I remember right, it does take a while to get through Cairo. It's, I think it's still a full-size hub, just like it was last time. Excuse me. Anyway, let's talk to Ava. The Templars have overrun all of New Cairo, including the mosque. They have moved Paul Denton's cryo storage tank to Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. What do you know about the Templar defenses? They had deep roots in the local population and were able to call up a large number of paladins. In addition, they have deployed a military bot in the mosque and two in the Arcology. What happened to the city's security forces? They were eliminated. SSC Chief Farrah Maxwell stormed the Arcology with forces flown in from Germany, but they were surrounded and are now pinned down somewhere inside the structure. So I'm on my own. I will wait here for now. After you find Paul, I will meet you in Flight B-23 at the top of the Arcology. Good luck. This is what the Illuminati wants you to do. Destroy Paul Denton and help return Biomod technology to international regulation. Please discuss the operation with the elite commander waiting for you in the streets. Paul's frozen body is located in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Archive. Alright. Two obviously conflicting goals. Kill Paul Denton, Illuminati. Kill Paul Denton. He is being held by the Templars in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Cairo Arcology. If you do this, you will weaken Apostle Corps leadership and open the door for an Illuminati power play. Revive Paul Denton. Apostle Corps. Revive and protect Paul Denton in Flight Bay 24 on level 110. Paul is currently held by the Templars. Once he is revived, the Templars will not be able to conduct their experiments on him. Now, if I remember right, that place is crawling with power-armored Templars, and they're most certainly going to attack Paul and I, so I actually don't know how I'm going to handle that situation just yet. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Get a multi-tool here on the helipad. Let, let's talk Ava to death. She has nothing else to say. Fair enough. All right, let's go up first. We got food. A combat knife. A couple of prox mines, which I thankfully know I'm not interested in. A crowbar. Binoculars. And that appears to be it for now. Now let's head down to the Queequeg's coffee shop. After I pop on my vision enhancement. Uh -huh. That, there's a sniper rifle and some binoculars up there. I don't need either, that's good. Well, let's head down here. And check out the coffee shop. There's the Illuminati Elite Commando. I got... There appears to be no hostels around here. That much is good. Let's talk to Sid Black. I figured you'd knock around Europe for a while. You do know that the Medina could get overrun by Templars at any moment. Thought there might be some trade in refugees. You know, quick hops away from trouble. But there hasn't been enough action yet for people to start liking my rates. What about you? I can take care of myself, but I might have use for a pilot later. A long trip. One way to New York City. Guess that would pay better than these Medina scabs. I offer to save their lives and the best they can do is 12 credits. How about you make a reasonable offer and we get out of this hole? I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. We gotta... let's get the food off the table. Something back here. It's like a med kit. Let's talk to the manager. I've seen the MG commercial. The endorsement of big ones. Thanks a million. What can I say? We all have our taste in coffee. Ha! Huh. Smug arcology brat. I guess the situation in the arcology hasn't hurt business. Aren't you worried that the Templars might occupy the Medina? What does it matter, as long as I have customers? I guess you're not very political. I have enough worries just getting profitable. The regional director is reviewing my books at the end of the week. 
My only enemy is Pequod, and our battlefield is the customer. Isn't the Pequods in the Arcology closed? The manager was murdered, but the Pequods Corporation will find a way to keep a branch in Cairo. That is my fate. <clears throat> I'm going to tell him. You should know something. Pequods and Queequegs are separate brands of the same coffee shop chain. <laughs> you never know, I guess. I'm serious. I saw the proof in some legal documents I came across in Germany. You are certain of this? Hmm. That would explain why the board's praise about the NG endorsement was so guarded. You don't seem too overwhelmed. My mind is already working. I think I see an opportunity, in fact. The Pequod's manager had a black market operation. I could cover it up and tell management I was merely protecting the reputation of the coffee industry. You'd be calling attention to yourself. Is that what you want? Yes, indeed. I want to stay on their radar. An ex Pequod's employee told me the code to their safe. 34, 45, 1, 23. You look like the mercenary type. Maybe you'd like to slip into the Arcology and empty it for me. Your payment would be the contents of the safe. Key code Pequod's wall safe stored in data vault. Goal received. Coffee Wars loot safe. Queequegs. The Queequegs manager has asked you to clean out the Pequod safe to exonerate the deceased manager from black market dealings. Your payment will be whatever else the safe contains. Pretty straightforward. Imagine how much money the executives of the parent company must make. If I play my cards right, that is where my career ladder will take me. It always helps to know who you are working for. You have to play the game to get ahead in a big corporation. I didn't make the rules. That's just how it is. I should get back to work. I should get back to work. All right. Let's talk to this woman. Look at the sky. The swell's gone. Some people are still afraid to come out. But I don't need fancy sensors to tell me that the air is clean. The nanite cloud developed so gradually that we got used to it. We got used to people dying, too. And you wonder how dictators can stay in power. It's because people will suffer almost anything rather than risk changing the way they live. <sighs> Alright. Now she's done. Let's skip the archaeology for now and check out the Nasif greenhouse. Break boxes. Just because. I see a couple of greasels. That's serious business. Let's talk to this guy. It must be a sign of the end times. Saw monsters dropping out of the attic in that alcove. And the plague lasted for years. I'm sure it means the apocalypse is coming, just like my aunt always warned. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Alright. Couple of greasels over here. Seem to be attacking a poor little mouse. Okay, with the greasels down. I cannot enter the greenhouse. It's closed. Oh, looks like they killed somebody. But there is a multi-tool, a med kit, a hundred credits, and a phosphorus flare. Oh, crud, another greasel. Well, <clears throat> I was hoping I could save that person if I got to the greasels fast enough anyway, so let's try that. Sprint past the guy for now. Give me a mic. Yes, you are. Just handle the greasels. Uh, looks like the person starts out dead. Anyway, 100 credits, multi tool. No real use for any of that. There's the greasel that tagged me last time. And another one. Good gravy. Now I have to wonder if it's possible to save that guy. I know it is. I'll show you how. I'm a big fan of uh, 
prematurely knocking people out and then moving them out of danger whenever it's possible. So, oh, but I can't. I saved over here. Damn. Oh, crud. Well... Shoot. I guess now the question I have to ask myself is, is it really worth reloading just to try and keep that guy alive? I'm gonna go with no. It's not like I killed him. Let's check up here, since I know I saw a couple more Greasels with my Vision Enhancer. Let's roll, baby. Oh, damn. He was still alive. You know what? I am going to... <clears throat> Adam Weishaupt founded the Illuminati in the 1780s to bring happiness to humankind through clandestine control of the world's governments. What you, what? This is what the Illuminati wants you to do. Destroy Paul Denton and help return Biomod technology to international regulation. Please discuss the operation with the elite commander waiting for you in the streets. Paul's frozen body is located in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. Alright. Just gotta, just gotta talk to everybody again. That won't be too bad. I think I'll get. I'll get back. I've seen what I is. You should. I'm. You, you know. You. Yeah. Imagine how much money the executives of the parent company must make. If I play my cards right, that is where my career ladder will take me. Me. It always helps to know who you are working for. You have to play the game to get ahead in a big corporation. I didn't make the rules. That's just how it is. Thankfully, I hadn't done I very much yet. Work. I should get back to work. Look at the sky. The swell's gone. Some people are still afraid to come out. But I don't need fancy sensors to tell me that the air's clean. The nanite cloud developed so gradually that we got used to it. We got used to people dying, too. And you wonder how dictators can stay in power. It's because people will suffer almost anything rather than risk changing the way they live. All right, all right, all right. It must be a sign of the end times. Saw monsters dropping out of the attic in that alcove. And the plague lasted for years. I'm sure it means the apocalypse is coming, just like my aunt always warned. I need to calm down. Saw monsters. Now he's unconscious. Let's pull him back somewhere safe. Now, maybe, we can keep those Greasels from killing him. Let's get these bastards. That wasn't so bad. Just grab the credits, they're all I need in the short term. There's another one. Let's go get the last one. Now, uh, let's... Check on my friend. Unconscious. Not dead. That's what I like to see. Now we're back and ready to handle those Greasels. I don't know why I didn't play the whole game with Cloak. It's way more useful than hacking. Live and learn, I guess. Alright. Okay, much better. 
Let's use the light. Well, let's use the vision enhancement just to make sure I don't miss any goodies. Over here in the corner, we got a multi-tool, ammo, food, ammo. And that's all I really see. Let's get drop down here. And save. And head back to the arcology, or the coffee shop. I got multi-tools to spare, so let's head in there and see what we can find. Let's go back and grab this one. Oh no! It's the kind that won't stack. Fine, let's head back to the alcove and grab that one instead. I'm not picky. practically drowning in energy cells, so I don't exactly need to be conservative with my cloaking either. Really? They're both the kind that won't stack. Fine. Alright, let's head in here. Alright, I see a barricade. That looks like an armored Templar. Tracking. I swore. Hello? Alright, two armored Templars. Oh no. I forgot something important there. Cloak does not help with cameras. I need to get to the camera undetected, and then I probably need to disable it with a multi-tool. That way I can stay close. Been shut down. That's strange. And now I should be able to just turn on my vision enhancement and search this area. Got a Multi-tool tool, tool two-pack in the broken elevator. That's handy. An energy cell sitting in the barricade. A concussion grenade, two concussion grenades. A med kit. A data cube. A call to arms. Brave paladins, destroy the elevator that grants entry to the arcology. Then hold that position until we have entered the s until we have secured the structure. We have flushed many of the transgenics from labyrinths beneath the arcology into Old Cairo. Be wary of them. Over here, we got a can of soda, an ammo clip, and a dead SSC guard. That appears to be all. So, let's get out of here. Close those doors. Shut everything off. Refill my energy. All is well. Good. Now I'll chat with the elite. Both of us are targets here. We will work separately until the final phase of the operation. What do you expect me to do? You will infiltrate the new Cairo Arcology. I will do the same and join you prior to the assault. If anyone's a glaring target for Templar Paladins, it's a biomodified commander like yourself. Then we agreed to maintain the minimal threat profile until a crucial moment. What if I'd rather work alone? Our orders are to work together. We will destroy Paul Denton and return Biomod technology to international regulation. Tell Dumier he's gonna have to look for an assassin somewhere else. Tell Dumier he's gonna have to look for an assassin somewhere else. My orders encompass that contingency as well. You what? will regret this. Oh my gosh. Being cloaked isn't really helping me. Oh, I'm Oof. I'll take that as a slap in the face. Don't be a fool, Alex. Do you really think that the Dentons will have any use for you once the technology is imposed on humanity? It will be a nanite plague worse than the one in Cairo, and you will be responsible. Well, damn. It looks like... I can't go non-lethal on these guys, either. 
That's irritating, to say the least. <sighs> Both of us are targets here. What do you... What, uh, Tell Jimmy A he's gonna... My engaging in combat. Not me. This battle will soon end in my favor. That was adequate. Target will be... Good grief. Okay, he can... Am I just hitting the wrong button? Seems like the game is not letting me knock this guy out either. Maybe I should agree and then ambush him. That what seems. What did you? What? Uh, seems like that might be smarter. Understood. I'll be ready. Good. The age of light is upon us. The age of light is at hand. How lucky you are to have Mr. Dumier's favor. Do not betray us, Jensen. Gain access to the Arcology. I will do the same. Gain access to the Arcology. I will do the same. All right. Let's knock him out. I'll take that as a slap in the face. Don't be a fool. Do you really think that the Dentons will have any use for you once the technology is imposed on humanity? It will be a nanite plague worse than the one in Cairo, and you will be responsible. Well... Shoot. I can't take him out. Because the second he goes unconscious, he self-destructs just like a power armored Templar. I'm probably just gonna have no choice but to back off my... <clears throat> not letting bet The Templars despise biomodification in all forms. Yeah, because there are parts of this game where power armored troopers and Illuminati elites are in the same area fighting each other. It's going to be impossible to keep them from killing each other. Which means that the best I can do will be to avoid them and let the bad guys kill each other themselves. It seems that the Illuminati is making the last grab for power. You must revive Paul, Alex. Apostle Corps needs a strong leader who can restore it to global prominence. The Illuminati only want to steal our research to increase their wealth and power. Alright. <clears throat> Let's head to the North Medina now. Century after century, the Illuminati have operated in secrecy, never emerging from the shadows, but wielding tremendous influence. Benny, come down. It's a beautiful day for a walk. You know I can't. No more excuses about your grandfather. The plague is gone. Look at the sky. Don't be fooled by the wind. The dust always comes back. Not this time. They found a cure and reprogrammed the bots. I'll ask Grandfather. Ask for a new reason to be locked up for two years? No. Come. I am going. Oh, Ani, you're right. It's a beautiful day. Femi! Yes, at last! Alright, let's talk to this guy. Ah, fresh air. Who has time to worry about the terrorists and narcology? The Medina is free. The plague is over. At least you can hide from paladins. The Nanite swell was everywhere. Enough talk if you don't mind. You're spoiling the mood. Please, let me enjoy my holiday. Go away, now. <laughs> Go away, now. Let's try to talk to the girl, too. Hey, I live here. What do you think you're doing? Get out! I'm just talking to you. I'm not inside. What do you think you're doing? Okay, enough of that. J.C. Denton has a hold on your imagination, perhaps. Talk to your friend Leo in front of the mosque. See how much he likes enforced modification. Do you really think Apostle Corps is any different than the sect of the Omar? 
Let's head up here. Oh, goal received. Talk to Leo. Talk to Leo in front of the mosque. It's like nothing over here. We do have an Omar protector and traitor. Diagnostics passed. The protector has nothing to say. We offer only the finest technologies, and you will be able to get them at the discount because of your preferred customer status. What's available? Perhaps you want a black market biomod canister, which enables non piezo chem functionality. I'm also selling three gas grenades, which deliver a biotoxin irritant in gaseous form. I've also got an ammo clip, which provides universal ammunition for all weapons. As a preferred customer, you may purchase items at half market price. I'll take the biomod and the gas grenades. Give me the biomod. Myanmar appreciate good customers. Credits decreased by 500. Are you interested in doing business? I'll take the gas grenades. I'll take the gas grenades. Myanmar appreciate good customers. Alright. Let's head back down now. Well, there's Leo. There's the apartments. I'll talk to Leo before I do anything else. Leo? Is that you? The frog suit threw me for a second. Alex! Familiar face. Just what I need. I guess I don't have to ask whether you're still working for the Omar. I've completed phase one of the Omar induction. He said I would have two months to decide whether to accept the cortical interface, which will make me a true Omar. But they are afraid the Templars will attack the Medina. They want me to undergo Phase 2 immediately. Sounds like you're having second thoughts. There's no turning back after Phase 2. I'd be almost invincible with Cyborg hardware plus the Tarsus Biomods, but this stuff's not like a nanite infusion. I'm still sore from the transskeletal supports I already have. Just tell them you need time to think about it. They say I have chosen. They say they will find me when I'm asleep and complete the operation. Then I will think like an Omar. It will be too late for choices. Maybe you should leave town. No money. I'd have to go on foot. With thermal vision, they'd pick me out on the desert plain like a pilot beacon. I'm not gonna give him any money. And I'm not gonna end the conversation either. Let's try this one. Well, you're the one who wanted to be such a badass. I didn't ask for your help. Looks like you need it, though. Hey, I can take care of myself. When was the last time you got any sleep? Shut up. They've got you so scared you might as well already be wearing the cortical interface. You don't wear it. It replaces your frontal lobes. Well, you've replaced everything else. You think Leo Jankowski can't protect himself? I think you know how to stand around and look pathetic. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Move! Well, there he killed himself. I didn't want that either. Hmm. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Only this time I'll just say it's good bumping into you. Leo? I guess I just basically no. It was good bumping into you, Leo. Goal complete. Talk to Leo. So, what have you been up to, Alex? Globe hopping for one of the post-collapse quasi-governments? You wouldn't believe me. Let's hear it. I found out quite a bit about the Tarsus experiments. So? The experiments were started by J.C. Denton and his brother Paul. They wanted to develop a biomod architecture that they could distribute to everyone on the planet. Yeah, they'll probably make a bundle, too. So that's why they dropped out of sight? It's some sort of utopian vision they have. A society based on absolute equality. Meanwhile, everyone wants a piece of the technology, including the Order and WTO, which are both puppets of a contemporary incarnation of the Illuminati, believe it or not. And of course, the Templars want to destroy it. A utopia of human-machine super-beings? Sounds familiar. Do the Amar think they're starting a utopia? They don't think much at all, as far as I can tell. 
It was good bumping into you, Leo. Got a multi-tool back there, which I don't need. Phase two is supposed to be extremely painful. That's why they give you two months to prepare. It was good bumping into you, Leo. The Omar are right. It's too late for me. It was good bumping into you, Leo. Let's hear all his dialogue. The Omar are right. It's too late for me. It was good bumping into you, Leo. All right. Hmm. Let me try stunning him. Alright, well, let me just try using the stun prod, then. Well, why am I trying to knock him out? Why don't I just leave him here? If he'll just... if he's willing to just stand there, then... I guess I don't need to mess with him, do I? Hey, more goodies. Two flash bombs and 125. Oh. And 250 credits. Awesome. Let's head over this way first. Talk to this guy. Cheer up. The plague is gone. They say you can't beat the nanotech virus. Supposedly, it'll evolve a resistant strain, then the cloud will come back. Nice day, at least. Might as well enjoy it for now. They say you can't beat the nanotech virus. All right, let's check the news terminal. Time again for a talk. Well, in the bullseye today, Luminan Saman, formerly of the Order Church. So you've gone public with a new con game, I hear. What's it called? Uh... I'm the Templar Grandmaster. Right, knights. <laughs> That's rich. Beat up a few defenseless bystanders, and suddenly you're. We've declared open war. Today, the Templars avenged themselves against Philip the Fair, who drove us underground nearly eight centuries ago. Is it so difficult to understand? Hey, I'll ask the questions here. You're thugs and innocent people. You will fall. Your culture has already disintegrated into flimsy tatters. We're merely sweeping the streets clean. That's it. Cut the mic. Someone cut the... Your little blips of thought bullets indeed. You and your kind have murdered the human intellect with momentary impulses. The noise of the machines seeping into every mind. Hey, hey! I'm not gonna sit here and... Janice, what? Janice no longer works here, Mr. Steed. This is the last top bullet. Meteorologists have detected a weather anomaly in New York City that appears to be centering on Liberty Island. <coughs> There has been a sudden and unseasonable temperature drop, which has not as of yet stabilized. The cause is yet unknown. Time again for a talk! Alright, that's it for that. Let's go check out the... Hey, it's Lin Mei Chen. Check out the Harvester's kiosk in a bit. Let's talk to others first. Convergence is possible, my seekers. Chairman and I have outlined a program to bring our systems into agreement. Poverty is not a prerequisite for fulfillment, nor is immorality a prerequisite for prosperity. Together, in peace. This is the way. Convergence. Convergence. Peace. Lies. I tell you, the church is the work of cynical conspirators. It is time for Vitaka, applied thinking. Taking what we desire and reconciling it with what we know. Vitaka, study your meditations. Nothing pleases the balanced mind more than to bring its good work into the world. Vitaka. 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 Her Holiness is really Nicolette Duclair, the descendant of a large crime family. This is a generated image used to brainwash seekers like yourself. My seekers. From today, you are all missionaries. German Dumier welcomes your teaching in the WTO enclaves. Just as Rome, once touched, fell to the spell of Christianity, so too will the city-states of our time accept order, respect, and balance. Yes, 
missionaries. Open your eyes. The order is a designer religion calculated to attract the largest number of believers. Convergence is possible, my see. Listen, Her Holiness is speaking. At last, order has triumphed. It is time for the time. It's the same message over and over, yet I can't pull myself away. My I have decided I will be one of these missionaries. It sounds like the missionaries to the enclaves will get to live there. My family would like that. Con Enough talking. I have much to think about. Enough talking. I have Let's talk much to the to SSC think guard. About. Hello. It is time for Vitaka. He's got nothing else to say. Taking what we desire and reconciling I'm going to cloak up and open the chest. Vitaka. Study your meditation. Nothing pleases the balanced mind more than to bring good work into the world. I must be naturally athletic. Believe me, free yourselves from this propaganda. Okay, two energy cells in there. That's good. Let's talk to Lin Mei Chen now. Alex, you were right. Her Holiness and Mr. Jimmy had a secret alliance all along. Still with the church? I see you're wearing your vestments. I would have picked up some slacks and a neck sweater if the Templars hadn't overrun the ecology. How are our friends at the Order and WTO going to deal with New Cairo? Hear anything before you left Trier? I would think they would dispatch a force to retake the city. I did some investigating. Mr. Jumier thinks he can sacrifice Cairo in the short term, but he has sent his personal bodyguard, an elite commando, to kill an enemy of his being held in the Arcology by the Templars. I ran into this commando by the landing pad. The commando has been ordered to self-destruct when he finds the enemy. This will destroy both of them and help the Illuminati seize some sort of device that's supposed to make them all powerful. The commando is going to blow himself up? Interesting. Thanks for the tip. Not exactly. Some sort of decomposition process that will create a toxic vapor. Interesting. Thanks for the tip. Convergence is po It takes someone with a pretty serious god complex to start their own religion. It is hard to believe that two people would attempt to reconstruct all of global society. My if I can turn public opinion against the Order and WTO, then the Illuminati will have nothing. Convergence. The Illuminati's power has no foundation other than the confused opinions of their followers. It is they can be defeated. We just have to have faith, Alex. Please leave me to my work. My Please leave me to my work. Alright, let's hop in here now. Head back to the harvester's old lair. Got a spider bot in here. Cloak won't help me deal with him, so I'll just wait till he turns around. Dead cat. We've got an ammo clip. Gotta open the chest. Two more ammo clips, a med kit, and an energy cell. Alright. That's all handy. I guess I'll go ahead and occupy my last uh, inventory slot with a second stack of med kits. Nothing wrong with that at this point. Alright, with that done, let's go check out the apartments. Nothing on this level, so let's head up again. Go back and revisit Maskini Nasif. Oh, I see Templars upstairs. Well, let's head into here for now. You! Who sent you? Uh, no one. Is something wrong? The Templars put a bounty on the Nasif family. Maybe that's why you're here. If I was a Templar assassin, I wouldn't stand around talking about it. 
Then who is in the apartment upstairs? Not you? A neighbor told me she saw Templars, and I received a threatening female from a man I used to know like a brother. Now he parades down the street in his robe, goes with the mob into the arcology, and threatens my life. You're right to be paranoid. Stay here. I'll let you know if I find out anything about the assassins. What a big nothing the order turned out to be. They redecorated the mosque. <laughs> what else? I wanted to believe. But what sort of order is this? Perpetual killing, gang warfare, just like before they came. Goal received. Hidden Templars, investigate. Layla's uncle suspects that there are Templars in the apartment upstairs from his. Investigate the apartment and let him know what you find out. Of course. Let's see, we got an energy cell on the table here. Might as well restock. Oh, it's Eva. We're pretty sure there are Templars in the apartment upstairs, here to threaten my family. The students are fortunate that Archer's plans were uncovered, but my family is far from safe. From what I saw of Archer's files, the Templars will stop at nothing. Maybe they are here to complete their orders for the school, any way that they can. We're pretty sure there are Templars in the apartment upstairs. I forgot to, to my keep family. talking to Meschini. I am a prisoner in my own home. A biomod infusion succeeds for one of my relatives, and suddenly we are vermin, all of the Nassifs. I didn't invent biomodification. Why did they want to kill me? Thank goodness my daughter is safe, at least for now. Because of you, she was able to escape the arcology just in time. At least the air has cleared up. You must be the stranger everyone talked about, our part-time savior. The Templars have been airlifting troops into the arcology. This is a foreign invasion, pure and simple. The Templars have been airlifting troops right. into the arcology. This is a foreign invasion. Let's see pure what else we can find in here. A can of soda. A med kit in there, which I'll go ahead and burn one multi-tool to get. Nothing in the bathroom. Uh, binoculars here on the balcony. And nothing else. So I guess it's time to head upstairs now. And deal with those two Templars. to the rest of the Nassif clan, immediately. Why this one? The Nassif girl was one of the key candidates for Nanite infusion at Tartus. Ah, Headmaster Archer is back. Hidden Templars save Nassifs. You've discovered that the Templars, Templars are plotting against the remaining Nassifs in Cairo. If you want to save them, you'll need to act fast. The whole family is likely to give itself over to that pollution, so they must be exterminated. Alright. Now let's roll in there and handle these guys. Oh. Whack! Oh, I Whack! Feel so good. Completed the goals, and our new one is just Hidden Templars Collect Reward. Now that the Templar threat to the Nassif family has been eliminated, go to Uncle Nassif's apartment to let him know and accept a 200 credit reward. Oh, Yahoo. I should... If anybody deserves to die, it's that douche, but... I'm not gonna kill anybody. There's a bunch of food in here, spider bomb, shotgun... Pistol, ammo clip, concussion grenade... Inside this chest, I find a med kit, an ammo clip, and an energy cell. An energy blade on the bed. Back here, an ammo clip. A silencer. And their balcony. And then all the way back here, nothing. Just the vents. 
That one dumps me out into the streets, which I'm still not terribly keen on. All right, let's return to Nasif now. Get that goal checked off. I took care of the assassins upstairs. You don't have anything to fear from them. You mean all of them? Have the local police clean up the mess. You'll be fine. You risk your life? For me? I wish I had something more than a few credits to offer as a reward. Your niece Layla and I work together. That's the least I could do. Credits increased by 200. Thank you again. Perhaps we will be okay. I will notify the SSC. They will want to investigate the apartment. Thank goodness my daughter is safe, at least for now. Because of you... I guess those Templars won't be completing their mission. My family may now finally be safe. Even though there are still Templars in Cairo, this should give us enough time to disappear. Archer's plans for my family are finished. Even though there are still Templars in All Cairo, right. this should give us enough time to disappear. That's it for the Medina, so let's head into the mosque. I think I'll be okay to include the mosque in this video. I'll have to... But I will have to, uh... Divide at the Arcology, I think. So, into the mosque. Why shopped, founder of the Illuminati, said, Men are unfit as they are, and they must be formed. Each class must be the school of trial for the next. Here we are. Oh, we're not weapons locked. How do you like that? Okay. The Templars have taken the mosque. People seeking sanctuary there are now trapped. The paladins are indifferent to them, but the security bot will shoot any non-Templars. If you eliminated the bot, the people could probably escape. All right, goal received. Free mosque, eliminate bot. Eliminate the Templar military bot in the mosque so that the area is safe for citizens. Of course. I can't really do anything to the power armor guys. I can take out the normal paladins at least. That one dropped an EMP grenade, an ammo clip, and a shotgun. Credits in this room. That's good. Stay out of sight of the power armored guy for now. Back here, we've got an ammo clip in a basket. Before I go downstairs, I would like to check out the armored guy's patrol route, so let's just cloak up and zip past him, see what we can find. Multi-tool up there, of course. It's the non-stacking variety. Where did that slot come from? I don't know. Uh, we've got a can of soda and an energy cell. Perfect. Well, let's get into the stairwell, then I can decloak. Got another paladin down here. Let's take him down. And why would you do that? Oh, the little girl saw me knock the guy out. Ammo, spider bomb, sniper rifle. Okay. I guess you have to start somewhere. But uh actually, let's take out the bot before I talk to these people. The bot's in here if I remember right. You should remember, of course, that Cloak doesn't really help here. So. Gold received, free mosque, collect reward. 
Tell the trapped citizens that the bot is no longer a threat. Speak with the physician for a reward. That's kind of what I figured. Whack. <laughs> That guy had ammo, concussion grenade, and a shotgun. Nothing too fancy. I guess that's okay. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Looks like a couple of scientists up there. Another patrolling paladin over here. More time on the Whack! <laughs> Another pen paladin. Ben. Whoever disabled it cannot have gotten far. Let's get this one. All right, she's got ammo, pistol, EMP grenade. Now let me check this hallway out. Arcology, spider bomb, flamethrower. I won't mess with the arcology door. I won't mess with the office yet either. Let's go downstairs now and talk to everybody. Alright, got a paladin in here. No! No! Whack. I just, I love the baton. It's so much fun. Pistol, ammo, concussion grenade, can of soda, can of soda. And soda machine. Oh shoot. I was thinking I'd hack it. Oh wow. I can get as much soda as I want if I'm not hacking it. But that's not really worth the credits. Let's keep going. Right, let's cloak up and get these two. The freaks are mostly eliminated, and we captured one of their leaders, the illustrious Paul Denton himself. I heard our guys just walked right in there, some sort of corporate lab in the arcology, right? It wasn't much of a capture since he's just a block of ice. That part was easy, but they're worried about a counterattack. I asked around. This whole operation is just to put a buffer zone around the frozen body. Great. That means we're the buffer. Suits me just fine. You don't get anywhere in this outfit without combat experience. Cloak. Whack. Whack. Perfect. Alright, let's turn my vision enhancement back on. We've got a pistol, an EMP grenade, ammo, a spider bomb, and a shotgun. Over here we got food, candy bar, can of soda. Back here, we just got the med bot. I can't take any more. Out in the hallway, I got two ammo clips. Plus, if I take the long way to go get underneath the stairs, I find this little girl I can talk to. Hey, I remember you. We met in events at Tarsus, and you're the one who took care of Archer. I owe you my life. Looks like the Templars are still causing trouble. Even though Archer was stopped, they have managed to take over most of Cairo, and now we're trapped here. I've cleared out the mosque, so it's safe for you to leave. Thanks again. That's twice now you have saved me from the Templars. <coughs> She's got nothing else to say, but... There's a multi-tool back here. And it's also not gonna stack with the ones I'm carrying. WTF, I say. But no matter. Let's go talk to the doctor and the patients now. It's just the med kit in the back corner. All clear. You can make it to the Medina if you leave right now. You're our personal savior. First you got Mina into the academy, now this. Next, you'll tell me that you're the reason Nanite Swell 11 cleared up. Well, just take care of yourselves until the Arcology is safe for classes again. I don't have much to offer as a reward, but maybe I can help you against the terrorists. My husband works for the SSC. He's training in Madrid right now, but I know the code to the SSC kiosk in the Arcology. 6673. Help yourself to any equipment you need. 
Thanks. That could be a big help. Key code Arcology SSC kiosk stored in Data Vault. Oh, I guess we're going to pull through. What a terrible world to bring a child into. Thank you again for all your help. Oh, I guess we're going to pull through. Alright, let's talk to Mina. I knew you would save us. Grab the med kit. I think you should move to Cairo. You could live in the Medina near us. You could be the police chief. The Templars would be afraid of you. Take your nonsense somewhere else. I hope they reopen the school. Mom says it is my insurance against being poor. Oh, I cannot wait until everything gets back to normal. I knew people who died during the plague. I wonder how many people died because of the terrorists. I really don't enjoy this attention. I knew you would save us. I took care of the security bot. It's safe for you to make a run for the Medina. Thanks. This isn't much of a reward, but I guess I could give you a med kit. Never hurts to be prepared for an emergency, I suppose. Med kit added inventory. Goal complete. Free mosque. Collect reward. Thanks for your help. Due to the pollution, I've never really explored the Medina. Maybe I'll try to find that coffee stand everyone talks about. We've got a chance to make it now. All right, yeah, we're down to three three goals now. At least we don't have to worry about Plague 11. It's going to be such a relief to get outside. We're lucky you came along when you did. We're lucky you came along when you did. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go upstairs on the non-patrolled end. I just, uh, I still need to check out Luminan Saman's office. I think there are a couple of scientists in there. And then, I will head into the Arcology. So, let's head up here. Good, it is just scientists. My guess is that it was a botched infusion. Justice, if you ask me. Mother Nature's way of saying don't play with that. Looks like it was more than a standard infusion. This is Paul Denton we're talking about. It appears they designed it as a new breed of nanite, one suitable for the entire human race. Given that it's been two years since they tried to infuse him, I'm guessing the procedure did not go according to plan. The nanites actually began disintegrating him from the inside. They put him in cryostate so they could find a cure. When will they learn? The human organism should not be tampered with. That's why we're here, to learn what we can from this experiment before the conspirators try to infect the rest of humanity. Alright, let's talk to them now. I don't know who or what you are, but you weren't permitted here. We got a med kit and two energy cells in there. We were having a discussion. Leave us be. Purity will prevail. Purity will prevail. <sighs> You're modified. I can smell it on you. Get out of here, you freak. You can't stop the Templars. There are too many of us. We've gathered the data we need. Soon we will be able to halt modification entirely. You can't stop the Templars. There are too many of us. These guys offend me. <gasps> Everything's spinning. Anyway, <sighs> I will show you the Templar ending when it comes to that point, but that's definitely not my choice. I, I hate the Templars. I really do. The game does a good job of making me hate my enemies. Anyway, let's travel to Arcology, levels 107 to 108. And as soon as I get the opportunity to make a new save, I'm going to call that a video. Well, here's some people dying on spawn. SSC guard right outside the elevator. Anyway, quick save, a new perma save, and I will call it. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Next time, we will tackle the arcology. I will see you guys then. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.